Welcome to this crane style Qigong practice for better balance. Let's just begin with a few warm ups. Start with your feet about shoulder width. Turn from your hips and waist. Let your arms swing around your core, knocking across your lower back muscles with the back hand, across your waist and belly with the front hand. Just giving yourself a little massage. Bring that front hand up to the chest now, knock below the collarbone, back hand still hitting the lower back. So a little gentle twist to the spine. Activating our energy, waking it up. And then take that hand over the top of the shoulder, slap the muscles between the neck and shoulder. Is there any tension or energy stagnation there? Let's come back to the chest. And the abdomen. And relax to the center, very nice. change of scenery here bring your feet together open your arms up this is a crane balance exercise bring it down like wings then lift up in front of you lifting one foot set that foot down hands come down lift up to the sides just standing tall then crouch down as we fold the wings and lift a foot as the hands come up in front set the foot down slowly as the hands come down let's use our breath inhale Exhale, coming down, sinking, a little squat here. Inhale, stand taller on one leg. Exhale, settle it down. Hopefully you got something a little more stable than this snow here. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Inhale, lift one foot. As though you have marionette or puppet strings going from the fingertips to that foot. You'll see a little better from this angle. Like the fingertips are lifting the foot with puppet strings and setting it back down. Continue that deep breathing. stretch. Open up the hamstrings. And release the fingers. Let's lift up, raising the bubbling springs. We come onto the tiptoes here. Lift the heels off the ground. Try to balance here. Don't let your heels fall out to the sides. Set those heels down, find a little side stretch, lean to one side, press up through the palms. Over to the center, press up and over to the other side, stretch your waist. Come to the center and let's open up the neck, shoulders and arms, spread the feathers, those palms press down and away. Lean your head to one side and slowly nod the head over the shoulder, inhaling back, exhaling forward as you nod the head. Over to the other side, nodding the head. You want to feel the stretch pull up from the palm of the hand all the way up to the side of the neck. And then we'll release. And we'll do one more round with a little different stretch at the end. So still with our feet together, let's open our crane's wings. Come down for our squat. Lifting up one foot as the hands come up in front. Setting it down as the hands come down. Standing tall in between, inhale, exhale down, inhale, lift a foot, exhale, settle it down. Forgive me if I look a little awkward on these, as it's not obvious to the eye, but I'm standing on top of about three feet of snow. And I'm trying really hard not to let my foot fall into, I was sinking up to my, about my hips in snow every once in a while as I was filming this. deep breaths. I'm trying to feel as light as a crane standing on this snow. Sure was worth it for the beautiful shot I think. A couple more. Our balance. 
And so we're really working the muscles of the foot and lower leg. This can help with a lot besides just the balance itself. As that foot and lower leg become stronger, it lends more support and stability to the knee, to the hips, to the overall posture and spine. Let's hold forward and stretch here again. So we really do want strong feet and lower legs. This will support the whole body structure, stability, injury prevention. And release those fingers again. Let's roll it up, reach up over the head, come onto the tiptoes again. Using the heels, this will really strengthen the feet, especially if you don't let the heels fall out to the sides. Feel that weight in the big toe and the ball of the foot. And just bring it down again, a little stretch to the side. And over to the other side. This here's a little footage I was using for my DVDs. But one of the cameras didn't turn out right, so I'm kind of recycling the footage here for you. This time as we stretch the neck, bring the fingers and thumbs together, curl it in towards the wrist. Feel that stretch coming up to the neck from the back of the hand. Same thing, nodding the head over the shoulder. Go to the other side as well. A couple deep breaths. In fact, I'll put a link to those DVDs down in the description if you want to buy them. There are a whole course of like 10 different Qigong routines on these DVDs, so they're really fun. Come back to the center. We're gonna find a little set from the Crane Frolic. So we'll do um, a few of the exercises from the Crane Frolic, not all of them. This first one's very simple. We're just lifting the hands up to the heart, inhaling, and exhaling as the hands lower down to the lower Nantian. Palms are face up, feet are together, toes point out to the corners of the room, 45 degrees. Exhale down, inhale up. Crane frolic, in this case, is meant to energize the heart. Rolling a warm, light, calm heart with poise and balance like the crane. So you can feel here, we're sort of lifting our chi up to the heart. And sinking the chi to the dantian. Qigong, we want our heart to feel light and free and open, but also relaxed and grounded. Bring it up a little higher, hands up by the shoulders. We're gonna to inhale, touch the fingers and thumbs as we lift up just above the shoulders. Exhale as we open the palms and press down just below the shoulders. Inhale up, exhale down. We're thinking of the armpits and the palms of the hand like two little vacuums here that are pulling the chi up and then pressing it down. So we pull up the chi like vacuuming it up from the earth and then sink it back down Thinking of this moving the chi through the heart, the palms and the armpits really connect to the heart in Chinese medicine. All the breaths here deep and slow through your nose. Feel free to match my pace or to go even slower if that feels more relaxing for you or even a little quicker if these breaths are too long and slow for you. You really wanna find your sweet spot in the breath where it's long enough to slow down your nervous system but not so long you feel like you're gasping for air. Now a more general crane-like motion. This is just the crane flapping its wings. So we open up, up to shoulder height with open palms, inhaling, exhale, like we're closing the wings down by our sides. Just again, feel this quality of the heart lightening as we open up the arms. And as we settle down, feel the heart settling. And this nice balance of yin and yang in the heart. And this next one, the hands are going to come up into sort of like a chair pose from yoga. The arms reach about 45 degrees forward and up. And we sink the hips down and back, lifting the heels as we do. So we plant the heels as the hands come down and then slowly lift the heels off the floor as we sink down slightly with the hips, a little lean forward as the hands lift up and forward in front of the head. The heels slightly lift off the ground. If that's too hard for you, keep the heels on the ground for now. And just do the rest of the motion. 
but we're inhaling as the hands come up and the heels lift and exhaling as we settle hands and heels down. Nice one to work the strength in the feet and lower legs. And this last one, we're going to cross the wrists, lift up to the chest, flip the hands forward, shift the weight to one leg, and send those wings out to the side as you lift one foot. Set it back down, round forward a little bit, cross your wrists, draw up to the chest, flip the hands, shift the weight to the other foot, float those hands out as you lift the foot and the knee. Settle it down, cross the wrists. This one we're just going to breathe naturally. Don't have to link it with the motion. Keep alternating sides. As you lift that foot, try to cover your knee with it. This comes from Tai Chi and other martial arts where you use the foot to protect the knee from enemy kicks to the knee. So you sort of turn that foot inwards to cover the knee as you lift it. See a little more of what I'm saying here. The knee, foot comes over that knee. Even though we're not linking the breath with this motion, try to maintain those slow, relaxing breaths all through the nose. That foot we lift, we have the toes pointed. settle it down. Come back to that crane position, palms face up just below the dentian. We're just going to hold here for a few breaths. Like a crane standing silently at the edge of a lake, so still and quiet that the fish and frogs don't even notice it. Soft, quiet breath through the nose. Breath gently moving towards your lower abdomen. Finding inner balance, poise, and harmony. One is under the dantian, the other is going to circle and come down the center line. Inhale to circle, exhale down the center line, just drawing any energy that's been scattered back to our center, our attention, our power, our mind, our emotions, and bring it all back from the places it's leaked out settle and sink to the center. Exhale down. Inhale, circle. And then fold at the dantian. This anchoring point between the navel and the pelvis. With our feet still close together, let yourself rock and sway like a pine tree. In a snowy field, moving with the gentlest breeze. Step back out and circle the hands around the belly, helping to store the chi of the dantian. Our 
life energy becoming anchored and centered. Hold here, find a deep breath. Breathe to your lower dantian. Taking a deep breath in. As you release, let out a big sigh, letting that energy spread. Hope you enjoyed practicing with me. I'm Nick Loffrey. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and even share with your friends. Thanks for watching. Thank you.